spear thrower owl is the name commonly given to a Mesoamerican personage from the early Classic period, who is identified in Maya inscriptions and iconography. It has been suggested that Spear Thrower Owl was a ruler of Teotihuacan at the start of height of its influence across Mesoamerica in the 4th and 5th century, and that he was responsible for the introduction of Teotihuacan related cultural traits in the Maya area. Topic Name Spear Thrower Owl is a name invented by archaeologists to describe the Teotihuacan originated spear holding owl symbol, stylized as one or two myoglyphs usually used to represent his name. The symbols themselves are not readable Maya writing, even though inserted among otherwise normal glyphs. However, in Tikal, the name appears written once as an ordinary Maya glyph compound that can be spelled out. The suggested spelling for the name is Jatsaram Ku, meaning, Owl that will strike. This also looks like a verbal description of the Atlatl holding owl symbol. Various logographs or glyphs depicting an owl and a spear thrower are documented in Teotihuacan and in the Maya cities of Tikal, Wixactan, Yaxchilan, and Tanainor. They may or may not refer to the same individual, or have other symbolic meanings. Biography <inaudible> 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 Maya inscriptions at several sites describe the arrival of strangers from the west, depicted with Teotihuacan-style garments and carrying weapons. These arrivals are connected to changes in political leadership at several of the sites. Inscriptions on the Marcador Monument at the Petain Basin Center of Tikal record that Spear Thrower Owl ascended to the throne of an unspecified polity on a date equivalent to 4 May 374. Monuments at El Peru, Tikal and or Wixactan describe the arrival of a personage Siaj Kayak somehow under the auspices of Spear Thrower Owl in the month of January 378. The exact date of his arrival in Tikal is identical with the death of the Tikal ruler. Chak Tok I Chik I Tikal Stila 31 describes that in 379, a year after the arrival of Siaj Kayak at Tikal, Yaks Nun Aeen, described as a son of spear thrower owl and not of the previous ruler Chak Tok I Chik, was installed as king of Tikal. His rule saw the introduction of Teotihuacan style imagery in the iconography of Tikal. Stila 31 was erected during the reign of Yaks Nun Ain's son Siaj Chan K. Awil and describes the death of that ruler's grandfather, Spear Thrower Owl, in 439 AD. Spear Thrower Owl was mentioned in later texts, for example, on a door lintel of Temple 1 where the Tikal ruler Jasor Chan K. Awil I celebrated the 13 Khartan. 13 by 20 by 360 days anniversary in 695 AD of Spear Thrower Owl's death by conjuring the Holy One. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Interpretations. The connection of Spear Thrower Owl to Teotihuacan as well as the precise nature of Teotihuacan's influence on the Maya has been a hotly debated topic since the hieroglyphic texts first became fully readable in the 1990s. The controversy is related to the general discussion of central Mexican influence in the Maya area which was sparked by the findings of Teotihuacan-related objects in the early Maya site of Caminal Juyu in the 1930s. The controversy has two sides. 
The internalist side argues for limited direct contact between Teotihuacan and the Maya area. This side has been represented by epigraphers such as Linda Shelley and David Friedel who have argued that the Maya merely had friendly diplomatic relations with Teotihuacan which caused the Maya elite to emulate Teotihuacano culture and ideology. The externalist side argues that Teotihuacan was an important factor in the development of Maya culture and politics in the Classic period. This viewpoint was first associated with archaeologist William Sanders who argued for an extreme externalist viewpoint. But as more evidence of direct Teotihuacan influence in the Maya area surged at Copan and new hieroglyphic decipherments by epigraphers such as David Stewart interpreted Teotihuacan incursion as a military invasion, the externalist position was strengthened. In 2003, George Cowgill, an archaeologist specializing in Teotihuacan who had formerly espoused a mostly internalist perspective on Teotihuacan Maya relations, summarized the debate, conceding that Teotihuacan had probably exercised some kind of political control in the Maya area in the early Classic period and that left an important legacy into the late and epi Classic periods. In 2008, an interpretation of spear-thrower owl-related iconography at Teotihuacan suggested that spear-thrower owl was an important military god at Teotihuacan that had his given name to both a place known as Spear-thrower Owl Hill and to the ruler mentioned in the Maya hieroglyphic texts. <laughs> Notes <laughs>